My name's Anthony Smith and I'm an environmental engineer specialising in alternative wastewater management solutions, including grey water reuse. Okay, the Greyflow Pro is a whole of house grey water reuse system. It captures, filters, diverts and pumps the water out to garden irrigation. It's suitable for taking all of your household grey water and it can be scalable for larger scale commercial operations. It's an Australian designed and manufactured product. It's a simple setup that has a range of different options to suit different applications from small scale home sized gardens through to larger commercial operations. Let's go and have a look at it. So here we are having a look at the system itself. Uh, this is the Greyflow Pro. Essentially, it is a really simple system. There's not much to it. So what we've got here is your main tank, um, which acts as a sump, not a grey water storage tank, but just a sump to allow those flows to come through and, and allow the system to do its thing. So we've got um, an inlet and an outlet. Just for, just for a, uh, a visual, I've got in from house, and overflow out. So essentially what we've got happening here is your, your grey water drainage line coming from your house flowing into the system and all that happens inside here is that that grey water is flowing in through this inlet pipe down through a coarse filter which takes out hair and lint and bigger stuff like that and then that filtered water flows into the bottom of the tank or the bottom of the sump, slowly fills up and then activates the pump. There's a pump inside the system and when that pump activates, it pumps the grey water out to your garden irrigation areas. That's the, that's the system in a nutshell and that's what it's designed to do. And you'll also see the overflow here, which is a necessary part of the installation. It comes into play either when there's a failure if say for example the filters block or the pump malfunctions or you've got a power outage then your plan b is a grey water going to your overflow also the system can be turned off if you're not needing your grey water for garden irrigation in the middle of winter or times of high rainfall you can turn it off and then all of that grey water that that's still coming through the system can overflow to your sewer or your septic one of the options with the Greyflow Pro system is the automatic back flush system. Now, with my experience and the work that I do in the wastewater management industry, I'm typically always telling people, keep things simple, keep the bells and whistles out of the equation. For me, this is, this is one exception to that. Not that this is a high tech system, but it's some simple technology that can really make a big difference to the simplicity of the system and how it can be maintained easily on a long-term basis. So basically what happens is that after the grey water has passed through the filter for a certain period of time, there will be a build-up of hair and lint and other stuff which is exactly what the filter is designed to do. It's designed to capture that stuff. In the manual version of this system, what needs to happen is the filter is manually removed and rinsed out with a hose. And that might need to happen once a month, depending on, depending on usage and lifestyle. In the automatic back flush version, there is an air blower can usually as a wall mounted control box which will push air down through the filter and out through the bottom so if you can imagine when this is submersed in the water and it's filled with hair and lint and crap that the air blows upwards through this filter to dislodge all the hair and lint and stuff and then that dislodged stuff will then overflow to your sewer or your septic via the overflow outlet. Now I'm going to pull the lid off and have a look at all the components that are, in, that are in here and how they all work. So the first thing you've got is your coarse filter. Like I mentioned before, 
this is to capture hair and lint and big stuff like that as the grey water passes through the filter all of that stuff is captured here so that's part of the standard kit the next thing we've got is your float switches so we've got just a bit of PVC pipe to, to mount the float switches to and you've got two one is your low level switch so when when the water comes into the system firstly the bottom float switch will activate and this lets the system know that there's water in the sump if water only rises to say halfway through a 24-hour period the control box will will recognize that it's been in there for more than 24 hours and that will activate the pump via a timed activation and discharge the water that's in the sump. The other scenario is if water initially activates the bottom float switch and then continues to rise and activates the top high level float switch, that will also send the same message to the pump, tank's full and it's time to discharge that water to irrigation. So that's the second main component is your float switches down inside the system. The next thing we've got is the pump. Uh, there's a few different pump sizes to suit different applications. What I've got here is the, the 300 watt pump. And this is what, this is the heart of the system. This is what takes your water from A to B. So when the water comes into the bottom of this tank, it's this pump that moves it from A to B, from here to your garden irrigation. So water is being pumped from here up through this irrigation line and depending on your site conditions or, or your installation that you're working with this will come out of the side of the tank at a certain height depending on what you've got from here the grey water is coming through this line and out to your garden irrigation and what we've got here is a little cam lock fitting so this flange here is what would be on the outside of the tank and when we open this cam lock this part stays on the tank and then the pump can be lifted out for maintenance or whatever is required and then placed back in and fitted again grey water coming out to your garden irrigation